Mosquito. Seahorse. Guess we're running an Alchemedes out here. I'm definitely a concerned tower right now. Fantastic hit by that mana. Ooh, okay. Run it like this. I think this makes more sense. I'd have to imagine. The one attack on those one fours doesn't feel very wrong. Love it. We are on perfect run status right now. Trajectory. Um, hatching chick is fantastic. Hatching chick part two is even better. I am very pleased. And we're cooking. We're cooking with oil right now. Roll me. Um, who are we really looking for right now? Not much. You know, we could maybe run a seahorse, but even that seems a little iffy. We already you get a Hercules beetle started. All right. <laughs> He is started and he is good. And then starting next turn, since we'll be on tier three, we can look for more hatching chick. Let me just say an early level three hatching chick is probably the best unit you could ask for. Just an all sap. It enables every single build. Level me. We got the bear whale shark combo. Now is that actually good? That's for de up for debate, certainly. Um, but we can try it. What's the harm in trying it? Okay, that's very rude. I do not appreciate that. We lost our perfect run status for that one. It's tragic. Alright, straight up, I think we're just looking for hatching chicks right now. I think a hatching chick would be huge. Maybe hold on to you. If we don't find anything, I guess we can still... Ooh, there he is. Huge. Okay, now we're buffing you. Right? Yeah. Eagle seems... Eagle might actually be good. High key, it, there's a chance. Fantastic. Eh, okay. Less fantastic, more just okay. Alright, so we're going here. Um, you're going to give three... Three pets attack, that's pretty good. Maybe we get rid of Seahorse too. Maybe not yet. We'll store you here for a second. That'd be a useful food perk from a random enemy. Interesting terminology there. Um, throw you in. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. This is fantastic. Okay. We don't quite get there. He's got the blowfish cooking up here. Okay, now it's happening. Definitely an axolotl angle here. And I think we do... This. 
Get you cooking up a bit. Yeah, let's do that. The more I think about it, the less I like the, the seagull in this build. I don't think I see the vision. It's only going to be on summons, and permanently buffing a summon pet doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, I think I've talked myself out of it. I don't like it. Um, I think we can start you here. Actually, here probably makes sense. We can get a snake cooking. That seems good. Now, as long as they don't get, like, mega ultra sniped immediately, which is not a given, let's be clear, um, we should be okay. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much what I was anticipating. Spirit seems good too. Make. I think we're running this. And then let's get you cooking. Give you a little loving. Okay. Axolotl's on the move. He's getting there. I actually don't have any summons or any snipes right now. But we're kind of behind the power curve now. We've done a little too much pivoting, perhaps. Okay. Roll me. Go here. Keep rolling. Not quite what I was hoping for. Got the axolotl. Ooh, we got team spirit on the level up there. Dude, this hurts. <laughs> I feel like we're close, but we're just not quite there yet. Maybe a hair would be good. I think the bear is doing more for us though, right? Have to imagine. Prepare for next turn, I have faith. I think we'll be okay. Okay, they don't have snipes. That's a great start. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're hanging in there. Axolotl's doing work here. Um, I mean, getting a bear leveled would actually be pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we just do it like this. Hang on to you for a second. I mean, this might actually just be smart here. Get you to basically 50. And then we don't need even need, we don't even need another whale shark. That's perfect. We can probably get rid of this team spirit coming up here. Don't think that's needed. Is this enough? It is actually enough to get there. Axolotl's putting in work. And I think we have to do this, just get you going. I guess you would have been, we would have gotten two extra there, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, let's roll. We could do a snapping turtle. Instead of who, though? Maybe instead of Team Spirit next turn? We'll prepare for it. Get everyone cooking up. 
it straight up, this seems pretty good. Yeah, so I think Team Spirit has done his work. I don't like that butterfly back there. Tell you that much. The two bees. <laughs> that is absurd. That's a lot of team spirits you got there, buddy. Uh, I think we do this. Hopefully we can get a level two. We did not. Oh, well, this is a level two. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, let's give him a stake, get him a little bit of oomph, if you will. Oh, this guy doesn't even... I don't like that he got rid of our axolotl there. Alright. Our bear might be too far back at this point. He's not really doing a whole lot. Um... But, I mean, he's kind of got to be back there, right? I guess if he gets sniped, that's something. Maybe. And maybe we want to target you with, uh, with snipes. That's actually not a bad idea. That's our anti-snipe tech right there. And then I think we just roll. Try to get some more snapping turtle. Beautiful. Dude is coming together. Can we finish it out? That's the question. So you're already going to be level 3, so we don't have to worry about you. Um, who, who else are we really doing stuff for here? Let's give you a little sustenance, perhaps? I mean, this is just useless, right? We're ranking you up to level 3. I don't know what to do. I'm glad we're on, tier, on nine wins and one life because I'm a little bit at a loss for uh, how to improve this. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. That is a bummer. Okay. I might be missing something, but is that blueberry not doing anything? Because <laughs> they keep using these lynxes and they keep sniping people that aren't the, the hatching chick. And it is random. It's sus. I just don't really see Alchemedes being like a, a good unit in this weekly. I guess if you snipe the right guy. It's a lot of homies, huh? I like this. A lot of shifting around here. Alright, what do we get? Level me? Hair or dog? I guess we'll go hair. See what else we get? We go aardvark. But that seems pretty bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Let's throw it in. What's the worst that could happen? It's a 2 3. Aardvark still not doing anything. If we could help an enemy Aardvark with a sheep, is that ever a good idea? <laughs> I reckon probably not. The aardvark actually worked. What the heck is that? 
Tell me who actually believed it would happen. Be honest. Um, do this. I mean, it, it's trying to tell me something. I'll, I'll listen. I'll do it. Aardvark's not cutting it for me. Goodbye. Ooh, big level up. Is this it? Is this where we get our level 3 hatching chick? Let's find out. This guy's going for a level 3 hatching chick as well. if I do. Is it a hair angle? I have a hard time believing it is, but I don't know. Maybe you just have to have faith, you know? Maybe that's all we really need. Level. Could go a skewer. I mean, it's time for these guys to go, right? Eagle might be a better version in this case. Okay. And obviously you don't want to make any of these guys rocks, so we'll just make their guy a rock. All right, he keeps his, <laughs> I forgot. It's always strange to me how they keep their, their food perks when they're turned into a rock. Like, how is a rock going to use that, you know? Doesn't even make any sense. Solid. I'm not feeling the sheep. I appreciate the offer. I'm going to have to have a hard pass on that one. It's a decent rock. Sure. Sure, not bad. Almost mess that one up. Let's spread the love. We learned that spreading the love is generally a good idea. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. I'd like to go Mosasaurus, but we kind of need a toy for that to work, you know? That's just like generally a rule, I think. Okay, so we finally got, oh baby, this is it. Team Spirit me. Level you. Straight up. I think we do this. Double Team Spirit. This feels like one of those pivots that's going to do us very well. <laughs> Just getting everybody cooking up. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting a tiger here. Could do an octopus. Let's do it like this. The hair isn't doing anything. Okay, let's just be real with ourselves for a second. Hair, not happening. The octopus, on the other hand, I think has a chance. So let's do this. I like the tiger. I don't like anything that's happening right now. Here to you. I don't think we need the snake here. We do it like this. Are we 
getting rid of the team spirit? Or are we full sending it? <laughs> this is the question. I say we full send. Have a little fun, you know? Sure, we'll take it. Octopus hanging out at the back. Okay, so... I think we do this, this, here, I guess makes some amount of sense. See how this does. I don't like that our tiger got sauced, but we're okay. Let's see if we can handle this. Double tiger? Nope. Never lucky. <laughs> Have you ever thrown a kraken? Probably not. This blowfish would be very upset with me. Prepare for the draw, just in case. I think we're good. I think we're just fine. See, it's so weird. Sometimes you get a team like that, that's like not really doing anything, <laughs> and other times you just get the most absurd wombo team you've ever seen. There's really no middle ground, it feels like. Except for, of course, your own perspective, which is always the middle ground. <laughs> I like it. Will be some some tasty <laughs> tasty beavers. Don't hit you. Thank you. <laughs> it was a two and three that we tie there. That's fine. You can't be upset about that. Okay. Nestle's always getting sniped out here. As usual. Okay. Let's get some duplicates, alright? I feel like we haven't gotten a whole lot of duplicates early in a bit. I like sheep. We'll save the, the beaver for later. Okay. So before we were talking about otters being... Not being rodents. Beavers are, right? Like, let's be clear here. That beaver <laughs> has the teeth. It looks like a rodent. Just with the platypus tail. I feel like that one's gotta be a, a rodent. We could elephant here. I mean, maybe fish is gone, right? Probably not a level 3 beaver angle. I appreciate the sentiment though. Mm. And we make it out with one health. My favorite way to win, just barely. <laughs> Silly you, let's grab a Bigfoot. Um, we've already done Whale Shark. I think we've seen the extent of whale shark that we're looking for. We'll level up next turn. I don't think we need the sheep. I feel like we're pivoting. Okay, these sheep are fantastic against this <laughs> the ox here. That's awesome. Great. So far, so good. We go here, we go here. I mean, how do you say no to this, right? You can't. Not looking for a stilt. Nah. I pass. We could get a, another big foot. That'd be kind of goaded. I 
mean, we're still at five hearts, so I guess I can't complain. I would like to be at more than two wins, though. You know, just in general. Level me. Maybe this is a Mosasaurus angle. Not Mosasaurus. Snapping turtle. I was looking at Mosasaurus when I said that. Did y'all guess the Mosasaurus correctly, by the way? In the guess that pet. Okay, fantastic hits. Holy moly. And the dog comes through. Hatching chick, interesting. We'll try it. I don't think we need... Maybe we do. Drink me liquid on the blowfish. I just can't help but feel like it's more important to get levels right now. That's not pretty. Hmm. His pineapple rock got us. Okay. Go here. I like a cow. I don't know, something like... Ooh, that was supposed to go on the blowfish. <laughs> My bad. Level, level. This is huge. Oh, baby. It's happening. Okay, so what if we try not hitting the puffer fish? Um, homie. <laughs> if we could hit, like, anybody else, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. I don't like any of these. <laughs> what the heck? I guess we keep the octopus. It might be a lynx angle, but that seems a little out outdated, if you will. And there it is. Love to see it. Alright, we gotta make good use of this huge combo we've got going here. I mean, straight up, we probably want a Stingray. Ooh, we got the Hatching Chick. He's cooking up something nasty. I definitely don't want a Hatching Chick on our Stingray. Big snipes. Love it. That'll do. We can dig. We can work with this. Hatching chick, blowfish, blowfish part two. Uh, maybe we get some stats on you. Though really blowfish is kind of where it's at. Little switcherooski got us. I respect it. Um, Team Spirit is really good in general. We can get the hatching chick a little bit bigger, a little higher level. And we're good. As soon as these two start going off, you know it's over. Can we get the hatching chick? Any takers? Anyone want to place a bet? <laughs> the answer seems to be no, but we'll try. The 
that'll do. That's just enough to get us there. Level you. Man, if we had a hatching chick level 3 right now, <laughs> it would be so over. And I think we're good. Then we go here, probably swap the elephant with somebody. Maybe a sleep near. A little extra snipe potential. Let's try it. YOLO, if you will. <laughs> I think they have a few snipes. Okay, so we're rolling. We need some sleep nears out here. Okay, that'll work. That's great, actually. That's, like, huge. These two are a pretty saucy combo, by the way. Team Spirit Hatching Chick. And we're doing it, maybe? We are. We are doing it. Alright. Can we get this sleep near all the way to level three? That's the question. One more roll. Never lucky. We got the chocolate for next turn. Let's see if we can make it happen. We did get their tiger. A lot of snipes going on here. We're good. <laughs> All right, the hatching chick came online pretty late, but I guess it doesn't actually matter. It's hatching chick OP.